Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Inks, and I'm from IGS Electronics. And today we're going to be uh, working on inputs and outputs for our ET200 SP station. We'll have a look at how to wire inputs, how to wire outputs. Have a look at the, some of the lettering that is on top of the cards, which are B, A, S, D, and H, F, standing for basic, standard, and uh, high function. Basically, all it does is just from basic is basic and then it goes higher and gives you more functionalities that card can do very simple so do check those things out if you see different uh, uh, terminology on the card itself basic or, or stand, uh, standard or high functionality there is a high possibility some of the functions are being specifically used well why would you why would you not if you're buying some more, much more expensive car so if you're doing full finding do pay attention to those letters you might be finding that there's something extra done than just input it or output or whatever the card use itself. So many of you have been asking me, can I please show how to wire in an induction sensor or a proximity sensor? And that's exactly what we're going to do today, purely because we are getting ready for our uh, server drive uh, tutorial videos, which, which I think is going to be quite a big series, which is something I'm looking forward myself to play with. And we have... Uh, we have a linear actuator in here, right in here, as you can see. So, and uh, we will be setting up a, our, a uh, high, low, we're going to call it low level and high level, basically, a limit switches in here, so make sure that uh, the system doesn't overrun, and also begin using for homing. But this is induction sensor, it, it works on ma magnet itself, so if there's a metal in front of it, it will get activated. So we're going to be wiring that in uh, today for our input. And also, what we're going to do, we're going to be using, and uh, for the output, we're going to just put a standard relay onto it instead of a lamp that we always do. So, so yeah, uh, I think that's enough. So, how about let's crack on? <laughs> Okay, let's get uh, started. So, where is my fancy dancy screwdriver? There it is. So, the key to understand of how this is wired in here is to understand the power principle of power supplies. As you can see, by the, by the way, these are the BA, BA, and I got BA. As you can see, I got one and two standards in here. So, it's a two different cards. So I used to have H, uh, high functioning ones, the HF ones, but no longer I do. So, we won't be able to check them out. So, from here, as you can see, pay attention to this window in here. So we have two sections in here, part of the base unit. So section one, which is a, is a light gray, and the section two is white. As you can see, this is eight times 24 DC, and it says it's using only one section. So it's a zero to seven bits, or one to eight inputs are gonna be this guy in here for this particular card. And as you can see, another bank in here says, Oh, by the way, you can use the other bank for your 24 volt outputs if you wish to do so. So in my case in here, this is used as 24 volt outputs. But if you look at it, I specifically added another card in it, which is 16 digital input. As you can see, both sections, this and this has been occupied as input. So the pluses will have to return to all of these and you're not gonna be able to pinch anything from here as 24 volt supply. So do make sure you understand what these things. Key, pay attention where this power supply is coming from. So because the sensors and everything else that is gonna come back to these cards has to be from this same power supply. So if I power in uh, the induction sensor, or in my case, so I'm gonna be sending a plus from here and a minus is gonna come back from the same power supply. To do make sure you understand in here. And uh, as well, if you see the output card, let's actually get to the output card right now. So you can see again, this one is eight. So I have a one section in here, but from the uh, for the outputs, as you can see, it says M. So they have said, well, for this part of the second section of the output, or these terminals in here, you can use them as M, which is negative from this power supply. As you can see, as, 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 as inductions or in, uh, induction sensors or proximity sensors we usually are, they usually come with blue, brown, and black color. Blue is negative, brown is positive, and black is usually the switching wire that sends back 24 volt uh, DC supply, which this brown one is supplying. So it could be, uh, this is PNP, so it could be NPN, so it could be other way around, but we're, we're specifically talking about PNP in here. 
So, as you can see, 24 goes away, comes back, and it activates my input. So, as you can see, I am actually taking this negative from my output card because I'm allowed to do it because it's M. Okay, it's negative of this power supply which powers these three cards. Remember we spoke about at the very, very beginning, this white one, it segregates the sections of specific setups. So it's section one, all the way from there to there. Section two continues from there to there. All right, so, uh, and when it comes down to uh, outputs, as you can see, I have uh, outputs, it's a uh, uh, transistor output, so it's outputting 24 volt DC, sending plus to my uh, relay, and I also take in my negative, and powering my, fill my negative part of my relay. Very simple. The key one in here, the one also I try to emphasize, pay attention, what is powering the card itself and where those, where the power supply is coming from. Remember, you can't mix them. So now that we know that, let's go into the uh, TI and have a look how can we find these inputs and outputs in TI. So here we are, so how to get to those out inputs and outputs in many different ways, but this is how I do it. I just double click on the station that I want to work on. It could be from different places you can get to it. And just double click on a card that you want to work on. By clicking on one card where you want to work on, you can do so, some work in here regarding parameters and, and, and input parameters and things like that. But to find out the IO tags itself, as you can see in here, I already have set up my first tag. As you can see, this card has been assigned 2.0 all the way to 2.7. And I have called, uh, remember, we have wired in our black wire into a 2.0. And that's where the, in, in, in our terminals, that's going to be our first uh, terminal on our base unit. And that is going to be 2.0. Same applies to output. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you, if you want, if you say, hey, I don't want to be 2. Point whatever. Uh, and you want to change that and that's no problem you can do it uh, in here you can change the addressing in here if you wish to but usually uh, I don't think you need to but if some people do but usually uh, uh, see TI portal assigns these things are appropriate to what's available so they don't so make sure they don't clash so and uh, output is pretty much comes the same thing you can come in here and do your uh, setup there is your uh, channels itself if you want to uh, play with them there's a couple of uh, diagnostics you can uh, you you can play with, or you can go in here. As you can see, my relay, uh, my uh, output card has been set for output 8.0 to all the way to 8.7, and again, it was done automatically by TI. So understanding the system as of what's be, what's part of the system itself, and I have uh, set that up as relay on. Very simple. This is where you find your inputs and outputs. If you wish to have a look at it, what's what and from there on i have created a really really basic program in here which you can see in here my network tree is level we'll close that we will close the switch in there and relay will come on so i've done that so let's put that onto the mr glassy man i always call him mr glassy man and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna move my uh my lever my metal uh, uh i don't know we get a little table around I'm going to go in front of the sensor, as you can see, sensor closes off and activates the relay. So, and to do see that live, let's do that. Let's ooh, zoom that out quite a bit. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to show it to you. A bit awkward, but it is hopefully visible to you. So here we go. So as you can see, I go on it. My sensor is powered, again, it's powered from the base unit down there. And I am moving forward, relay coming on. Hopefully you can see the light, I'm still, uh, you can't see the lights, but you can see the relay and uh, this sensor comes on. Because m the light, uh, for whatever reason, the sun has come on outside and is really creating a quite a substantial lighting in this settlement that I have. So, that will do for this video. Hopefully, it's giving you a good understanding how that works and how to wire inputs and outputs. And remember, keep an eye on actual display itself, what is uh, Siemens is providing on those cards. And I'm hoping that you should be all right. Remember, keep an eye on those power supplies. That's the key for fault finding anything within uh, any PLC system. So. 
that'll do for this video thank you very much for watching if you do like the video don't forget to smash that like and do subscribe to your new channel i'll see you next one